Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Byrne, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And tonight, we're going to talk about how to create wealth, ladies and gentlemen. You've been doing it all along. We've been talking about it all along. And what have the rich done to become wealthy? Well, that's the roadmap. You've been following it all along. You just have to keep going. So therefore, you can too. Assets, ladies and gentlemen, once again, but let's see how we get there. And welcome to the SSN Nation Friday Night Live stream. Stop struggling now, gear. Check and please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here once again on this Friday evening. Please share the videos because you never know who's out here looking for information, who's not looking for information. But either way, you never know who it's going to be able to help because once again, you want to create wealth. It seems like a simple formula, but it is not. Why? Because it's not just a straight line from saving money. Saving money is not going to do it. There's not just a straight line to where you're going to put your money in the stock market. It's not a straight line where you can put it into a business and guarantee that your business is going to be around for a few years. So just letting you know, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we have a lot to talk about this evening. And if you're going to be in the house, the chat room is open. So let me know if you received the notification and saw the trailer. That would be helpful because Paul Castillo is in the house tonight. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday Night Live stream with that icon next to his name. I humbly appreciate that because he's a member of the channel, ladies and gentlemen. And he says, hello, SSN family. Smash that like button. I love that. And let's get to it. Exactly right. That's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. You saw the little preview where we have none other than one of the billionaires on the planet. It looks like Bezos to me. I don't know. Looks like a clone. But nonetheless, we're going to the Forbes article. Yes, down below in the description box, there will be a link to this article because it's not good enough to know how they did it. You probably would want to know what industry are they in. Think about that. That's a different equation altogether. But you will notice one thing as we go down this list, how the world's billionaires got so rich. You're going to find out real quickly how it matches up. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go through this real fast in a different way. I'm going to show you here are the top 10 biggest industries for billionaires. OK, here we go. Not real estate, like I always told you. Finance and investments. Once again, equities. Why? Because equity value grows per share. So if you happen to own a million shares and all of a sudden the stock goes up to $50, that's 500 million shares. Now all of a sudden, you're doing something with stock money. You can borrow against it. So now you actually go buy other assets that are liquid, meaning they pay you while you're sleeping. And that's how you increase your wealth. That way, there's a lot of other things. Dividend stocks is in the case of Warren Buffett. 372 billionaires. Now, there's only roughly around now 2,500 to 3,000. So this is 372, 14% of the list. So we can actually, well, actually, I don't know what 37, well, I can kind of figure it out. 84% of uh, 372. 
But nonetheless, let's keep moving. Number two, notice manufacturing, ladies and gentlemen, making something. Chairman, a screw and faster maker worth group. Manufacturing, meaning you're doing hand to hand, but are you really? Maybe it's automated, right? So 12% of the list, 324 billionaires. Technology, now you're going to talk about the guy, Jeff Bezos. That's only 12% of the list. So notice it's ranked one through 10 based on the percentage on the list, but it does not matter. These are all billionaires. Fashion and retail. Does the name Bernard Elno ring a bell? Does LVMH ring a bell? Does Gucci ring a bell? I'm sure it does, right? Louis Vuitton ring a bell. Okay. Food and beverage, which is, look at this, chairman of the bottled water company, non foo Spring. Is that incredible? Needless to say, healthcare is going to be on the list. As the population gets older, more healthcare is needed. People are getting older because of better healthcare situations for them and their loved ones. Number seven is real estate. Notice it is Donald Brin, chairman of California-based real estate firm. Here's the thing I want you guys to notice of all. Look at this, Berkshire Hathaway, Worth Group, Blue Origin Amazon, LVMH, Wantai Biological Pharmacy, Serum Institute of India, number six on the list. Real estate, David, uh, Donald Brin, California-based real estate firm, diversified, chairman of Reliance Industries, oil and gas, retail and telecommunications. You paying attention? This guy, diversified, Reliance Industries, oil and gas, retail and communication, petrochemicals. Number nine, energy, Kaiser Francis Oil Company, media and entertainment, Michael Bloomberg. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen. You notice one thing on this list? All the billionaires seem to have companies. Is anybody paying attention? Companies? Remember our list that we always told you about? A large percentage of wealth is based on companies on the stock market or not on the stock market it's based on how many companies do you own that comes in handy that is the playbook that you can start off with ladies and gentlemen all right dj robbie d is in the house tonight welcome to the assassin nation friday night live stream Late night edition, as it turns out, because it's a little bit later at some parts of the country. And DJ's Robbie D is in that from Philly. And here he has Robbie D Solutions with that icon next to his name, which I greatly appreciate. He says, hello, SSN family. Shopping by to get some knowledge or stopping by to get some knowledge. I misread that. Smash that like button. I love that. Everybody, please smash the like button. Why? Because we don't get any love out here in these YouTube streets, but it's okay. I'm not stopping because we want, you guys know, say it along with me, a rising tide lifts all boats, ladies and gentlemen, and we're trying to lift all the boats. Some people aren't. So therefore, you get the information that you need. So hopefully, DJ Robbie D, Paul Castillo, and everybody else who watches this live stream and sees the replay, Notice the top 10. What more do you need to sit there and go, I think I'm going to work at a job? Yes, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with having a job, putting your money away in your 401k or taking it, taking your money, hard earned money and putting it towards some investments, even if it is the stock market. But I just wanted to point out on the list, you can tell 3% of the list. So 3%, that, that's Whatever the list is, this is like, what is that, 3,000? Is that what that is? That's something like 3,000. It's around, like I said, there's 2,500 to 3,000 billionaires, right? Um, 
Let's go and see what 0.97% is. Uh, oh, sorry. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. I need to do something. That's 90, isn't it? Times 3%. Yeah, it's 90. So it is. They're they're basing it on a little over two, a uh, little over three thousand billionaires on the planet. So three percent is ninety. So it's around thirty one hundred, something like that. Just so you know. So when you start talking about forty percent or four percent, that means another like what is that? Four times three. Uh, that's over one hundred and twenty now. But the biggest one is. They have businesses and finance and investments. That has to be it, right? 372, 14% of those, which is the maxed out. So we're around, what, 200, 220, 220 to 250 of the 3,000 billionaires are in the finance and investments. But all you need to know is the top 10 list. It's down below. Some people may say, hey, Eric, I'm watching on a different platform. You need to put it in the chat room. No problem. We're putting it in the chat room for you as well. So you can go actually look at this yourself. So this way, there's no misunderstanding on where you should be investing your money or how you should be thinking about if you want to change your timeline to create wealth, then you know it has to deal with business, right? Nine out of 10 businesses fail though, right? So therefore, what's the shortcut? The shortcut is you have to be a shark. If you have money to invest, maybe you should buy a business that has an upside. You can already see the top 10 businesses that have an upside. So then, therefore, maybe you should be in that and you should pick a company that gives you a return on your investment already when you invest, not a startup like we are doing at InstaVid AI, right? Maybe you want to get into a company that has dividends, has refunds, has any type of money coming in. That's right. Even refunds of their customers. So that way they have profits. So you know you're getting a check. That's what you want. It's not a high risk as a startup, right? So once again, I had to break that out first because a lot of people think that it's just a simple line and it's not. Now, let's get into, uh, since since Warren Buffett is on the list, they tout Warren Buffett uh, a lot because he has been what you would call have the same house for 40 years never was flashy about anything. And so they always tout that. Meanwhile, I sit there and I go, okay, how did we get there? From a simple standpoint, I think if my father is a senator, I think that helps, right? The fact that we have the poster child here on this article, Bezos, who says, I want to start a book company. You guys have heard me talk about this before. And the parents are like, okay. And, and, and he gives up a nice job at Goldman and Sachs as well to boot. And some of you may have seen the movies, which may or may not be true. But all I know is I can't walk into my parents' house and say, hey, I'm getting ready to start this book thing. It's brand new. Can you give me like $300,000? I mean, most people watching this channel probably wouldn't be able to do that either. So therefore, that is a, another scenario that sometimes it gives you a great advantage if you have some parents that have some pull. So not everybody's a senator. Not everybody's parents have $353,000 or whatever it was, 60, 360, whatever it was, 300 and some thousand dollars to give to them to go start a company. And that's a lot of money, even today's money, never mind about 30 years ago, 30 years ago. That that's probably, you know what, I'm going to do something right now while I'm on the screen. Hold on a second. Let's see something. Um, let's go look, shall we? How much is 200, no, 300,000 in US, USD? worth now from 1990 i don't know when it was but let's say 1991. why don't we go find out are we gonna be able to find out tonight oh well ladies and gentlemen not many parents sitting around is going to give their kids six hundred and nine six hundred and eighty seven thousand dollars 
Jesus Christ. All right. I think you can do damage at that point. I really do. I really do think you can do damage. All right. Richard Shillington, one of the four horsemen is in the house tonight. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. And oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is no pain. And it's profit on YouTube in the YouTube streets. And what's he talking about? What about if the business opportunity is in the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus? <laughs> yes, nobody on that list is from Northern Cyprus because they would not be able to do business because there's no way people are sending millions or billions of dollars to Northern Cyprus for a fake company such as Miracle Cash and more. They don't even send it to real companies over there, that type of money. So you're not going to be on the billionaires list living in Cyprus. That's for sure. Not going to happen. <laughs> and Nadine in. welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream with that icon next to her name, which I humbly appreciate. And another investor's in the house. She says, hello, SSN. That's right. Miss Sabana is here. Inside Vista Cana, Puna Cana, Dominican Republic, real estate investment project, one of the upscale locations in Puna Cana. So we got to give them credit. Now, I did see a video, Nadine, of about a week or two back. I don't see any villas finished over there yet. I'm just saying they drove around a little bit. I didn't see anybody's finished yet. So I'm thinking most of them look like another, let's just face facts, six, seven, eight months minimum. I don't see anything that close yet, but you're in. You have the equity. You're in the best location. So what can we say, ladies and gentlemen? That's part of the thing. No credit check, no qualifying, pre-construction. That's all I can tell you. It doesn't even have to be in the DR. It can be in, I don't care, Thailand. Belize, Costa Rica, Mex well, Mexico, well, let's just say. Anywhere that's deeded, let's put it that way. If you love Mexico, you better love it a lot because you're going to not have to deal with some Mexican trust if you're within 25 miles of the beach or something. But you can be in DR. You can be in Europe. You can be in Greece, Thailand. I don't care. You have to deal with real estate sooner or later on a small scale, not large, but you have to do business, ladies and gentlemen. There's just no way around it. So very nice to see you once again, Nadine, and everybody, please smash that like button if you haven't already. All right, Richard Shillington, just so you know, in fact, no, I won't do it tonight. I will be dropping a video tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, because I have to apologize about my miracle cash and more bashing so I got to apologize. And that video is going to be coming out tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to see that one. Yes, that's right. I have to apologize. Stay tuned. It'll be dropped tomorrow because I'm going to finish it up tonight. It'll be dropping in the morning. So it's going to be very, very interesting. George's Charles is here. He said, no fear, no excuses. The emerging millionaire is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream with that icon next to his name, which I appreciate. And he says, hey, all, that's it, man. Hey, all, wild stock week, wild stock month, to say the least. Why? George's Charles, ladies and gentlemen, I got to give him credit, just like I had to give Brian P credit. He did mention it like a month ago. He said, S-C-M-I. We all said, okay, never heard of it. Okay, cool. It was like $400. Now, all of a sudden, it's at $1,000 in less than a month. It went parabolic, AI and all. So I got to give him credit. And now, George, no pants, profits, MTC to the moon. Is he talking about MTCR? Wait a minute, MTRC. Wait, wait. What is that? He's, 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 he's messing around. MTRC. That's what he's talking about. Meta Terra. Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I got bad news. Some of us actually were in this, 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 this thing. We're in this thing. Um, we're in this thing. SMCI made money up. Yup. George's Charles. A lot of people did. 
Maybe somebody that was watching the channel that night might have put some money in when it was 400 and when it ballooned up to 800, 900, 1,000, hopefully they sold because can't be greedy, ladies and gentlemen. You should never try to be greedy. In fact, Richard Chillington knows this. You should never try to be greedy in a casino environment because that's what the stock market is. It's a casino environment, so you better be careful. You better take your profits and run. Don't keep thinking you're going to break the bank now, all right? That doesn't happen. All right. Yeah, Shillington. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to give Shillington, since he's in the house tonight, I'm going to give you a little preview, just a little, little snippet of something that I'm going to be including in the video. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Let me see. I don't know if I need to have, does it have to be, oh, it only has to be an image. So hold on, hold on. It's an image. Let me put this image up right quick. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Let me find this image I want real quick. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have these NFTs by Miracle Cash, Cash Flow, Boogie, the Goofy Gopher Club. Um, you know, whatever you want to call these guys. I mean, they got like 10 different names now. But I, I just had to show this right here because there's a lot of us who bought into this uh, NFT that may be watching this channel. And I just happen to, I'm going to be including, you guys will have a preview. This is how I'm closing out the video from yesterday because we have a lot of people who bought NFTs and they think they own something. They own thin air. Here's what I want to show you right now. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll make this short and sweet. I highlighted the part that you need to pay attention to. All right. This is an email that was sent to somebody that wanted a refund. And they say, please know that your UK share is not part of our Phoenix token or Miracle Estates, which are where the casino projects are within. That looks like that could be a problem. Because they said your NFT changes into a share. Now they're telling you your share, I guess, is worthless because it's not going to be attached to any Phoenix token or Miracle Estate. I don't know what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. I can't keep track of the Goofy Gopher Club. So that's giving you a preview. No pants. That's what's coming up tomorrow. All right, let's go. Now, here's what we're talking about. BTC. Now, you guys already know last year, February, March, April, somewhere in there, we said BTC ETH, no choice, have to do it. That's the only way we can do it now, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I agree with BTC and ETH. If you say that, buy those. If you want to be in the crypto space, buy those. Now, why is this not coming off? Let's see what's happening here. All right. Thought I cleared that. Apparently I didn't. All right. There we go. All right. I agree with that. I do, actually. I mean, I'm not averse to crypto. I'll take BTC and ETH. BTC is going to have anyhow. So that makes sense. So its rise is ordinarily uh, correct. ETFs, Bitcoin ETFs have come out as well, which means they're allowed to buy Bitcoin. So there we have it. I had to take profits, got back into it a little, then closed it out. Yeah, I had to close it out, man. Like I said, it's crazy how it dropped like $200 since yesterday. I had to take profits, got back. Yep, that's what you have to do. That's exactly what you have to do. Do you think that BTC will be 100K by now? I, I never predict crypto. All I know is they're doing a halving right this year. So traditionally, it's going to go up another 20 to 30%. You can guarantee it. So if it's at 50 20% more, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. Yeah, it's going to so easily 70, 60, 70s, no problem. Uh, 100, it's possible. Anything's possible. You have more buyers in the market, meaning assets under management that people can now buy it. So it potentially could go up to that. Laverne Panix. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream with that icon next to his name and welcome once again in our house 
is Mr. Cool, ladies and gentlemen. Laverne Penix is Mr. Cool. And he brings his tagline. Hello, SSN Nation. I hope everyone is doing well. I received a notification. Thank you so much. That's three people tonight. So once again, that's what we need is people like Mr. Cool. And by the way, everybody in here tonight, they are investors. They actually do businesses. They actually do side businesses. Some sort of business is what we started this whole thing about how to create wealth. Well, the playbook is simple. You have to take risk with investing or being involved with businesses. That helps you start off right away. Now, do you want to take the high risk or the low risk? High risk, startup, doing it yourself and actually working yourself, have a job for yourself. That's kind of weird. You get rid of a job just so you can work at your own job for your own business. That's weird. But again, the idea is passive income or making income or profits while you're sleeping. That's the difference. That's what you want to do, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So. Let's see if anybody else wants to discuss this, how to create wealth. Did anybody see that video? If on the newsstands now at the checkout counter at Rayleigh's Bel Air and a few other, you know, all the grocery stores, Investopedia has their own book and it was talking about how to create wealth. I thought that was fascinating. I had to take a picture. So in case you're not watching social media, not paying attention to social media, then you guys wouldn't have seen this picture. So let me show this picture, which is very, very interesting. At the checkout stand, look at this. You can go buy this right now. 10 Rules of Investing, A Simple Path to Wealth. Notice they said investing and they didn't say savings, right? Notice they didn't say the 10 Rules of Saving, Simple Path to Wealth, because you can't do savings for the simple path to wealth. Notice they said investing, ladies and gentlemen, and you know, Investopedia is one of my favorite online places to go when we start talking about things. And since Richard Shillington is here, Mr. No Pants Profit YouTube channel himself, you know what that means. The Goofy Gopher Club, Investopedia we went to when we did the DCF, <laughs> that discount valuation nonsense or whatever it's called, sorry. Investopedia says it best. We don't do crypto. <laughs> we will see what happens. All right. Victor Marrero is here. Another investor is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream. He has that icon next to his name. Thank you so much for that, Victor Marrero. I greatly appreciate it. He brings his tagline in tonight. Hello, all. Let's do this. Thank you so much. He's here. We're ready to go. Let's see. Vern Penix, Eric, the unit we purchased away for 89000 is now selling for 129000 Yes, it's a one bedroom. This is what we were talking about. He's exactly right because remember, Riviera Castaña was selling their one bedroom for 118 Downtown, 118 Everybody, 118 so no surprise, 129. I love it. I like that they're selling it for that. What's the appraised value? We don't know. But they have to sell it for that. The cost of materials is way more than three years ago. So they have to. No choice. But I still like the price. I love the price, in fact. Because what I'm going to find out, well, we'll find out shortly. I wish I could show you guys something, but I can't. What I want to know is, so if you're by the beach, the actual beach, how much is a one bedroom worth? One bedroom, one bath at the beach worth. If Vista Cana is 129, if downtown's 118, 119, that's a good sign for everybody that would have a one bedroom unit that these things are starting to escalate. And quite frankly, I think real estate in Dominican Republic, especially in Puna Cana, is going to escalate. When they're breaking records every month for tourist, tourism records, then again, there's business opportunities to be made. And you might want to think about doing business there, especially on that eastern part of the island where record tourism numbers are running amok. 742,000 people in the month of January flew into Dominican Republic. 
60% of all those people, 480 is 700. So clearly it's going to be something like 500,000 of the 742,000 people landed at Punakana Airport. They don't even have enough places for people to stay. And there are people paying 800, 900, 1,000 or more per night for all inclusives. Simple junior suites, not even a mansion. Simple junior suites, people are paying seven to eight thousand dollars per month for these all inclusive nice resorts. So, the question is if you are invested in a property such as Laverne Penix inside Vista Cana that is in itself like a resort environment, how much can you rent when these things get all of their amenities built? Well, we might not find out for another year or two, but all we know is we're hoping he gets his delivery at the end of this year or the end of next year. But the way we saw what was happening, there is no way it's happening this year. We saw the video of the wave and it was not looking good. So we will see. Is it too late to get in on the wave properties? DJ Robbie D, no, they're still selling them. They're 129,000 now. There's no way you can get it for 89 or 80. 89, right, because it was 80. They charged 10% more, so that's now why it's 89. But Or was it 79? I can't really remember. But all I know is everything was in that bucket, 70 grand, 69 grand to like 100. Just like, you know, at Laramar was a one-bedroom there is 94, 93,000. I mean, you can still get deals on the outliers, but 129,000 is about the going rate, quite frankly. Um, I'm charging a little more for a project that I'm putting on. It'd be 169 for a one bedroom, but it's because of location. So we'll see what happens. And it's not going to be no more than uh, 50 feet. 20, uh, yeah, 500 square feet. That's all it's going to be. One bedroom, uh, condo, 50 square feet. One bath, which uh, have to do a configuration change probably because uh, I'm a big fan of a half bath at least. So if I design something, one bedrooms are going to have a half bath. Got to have another toilet and sink in another room. You can't be running into people's bathrooms or bedrooms to uh, use the restroom, right, while you're sleeping. All right. Joe Ney, another investor's here. Welcome to the SSN Nation Friday Night Live stream. He has that icon next to his name as well. And he says, what's good, SSN fam? How is everybody doing? I'm doing good. Hopefully you're doing good. The people in the house, hopefully they're doing great because we got a lot to talk about tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over yet. We're not done yet because we did talk about that $300,000 that Jeff Bezos got from his parents and it's worth $687,000 in 2023 money. That's almost like when uh, Henry Ford started his company and people go, oh, it was only 50, 60, 100,000 or whatever it was that he got. And I'm like, that's worth millions of dollars. <laughs> he got millions of dollars in our money today. That's ridiculous. That's a lot of money. But back then, since it was no inflation, this is what happened. Now, I want to get into, there was something else. It wasn't, oh yeah, the top five industries. That's it. But I wanted to go to a different area. Maybe I got to change the word. Um, maybe it was a different way I got to do it. There we go. All right. So we're going to change this to something else. I'm going to show you again the 10 richest companies in the world. And maybe a lot of you don't even know who they are. Because I'll put it to you another way. We had a president of the United States in the early 2000s. Last name Bush. Can you believe they actually invested in a company called Aramco? How many of you have heard of that company, right? 
Aramco, Saudi Arabia, but it's one of the biggest companies in the world. All right. So they are very wealthy family to boot. All right. So Apple, number one, trillion dollar capitalization. Microsoft, number two. And here's Aramco, number three. Alphabet, number four. Amazon, number five. Berkshire Hathaway, number six. Tesla, seven. Tencent, eight. NVIDIA, nine. Meta, 10. Anybody paying attention? AI, social media. Tencent is almost like, I don't really, they're like, they do a lot of stuff. I mean, I, I can't, social networks, music, web portals, e-commerce, mobile games, internet, they do a lot. But again, it's all in the internet. Tesla, innovative car company. Once again, you guys know I'm not really a big, big fan only because you and I have to take risk. Trust fund kids, well, you know, they get the government backing, so they get subsidies and things like that. So you can stay in business a lot longer if you have grants and subsidies. Let's call it what it is. Berkshire Hathaway, okay. He did it the right way using equities. He invested, did dividend stocks, and he just keeps reinvesting the right way. Amazon, we already talked about Jeff Bezos. Alphabet, interesting. Alphabet company is still here, 1.6 trillion when a lot of people were writing them off in the 90s and Aramco is going to be around forever. All right. About 10 percent of global oil production. It was found in 1933 as the Arabian American oil company. Let me see if they mention. No, they don't mention. All right. Microsoft. Hey. Another another guy, his parent, his mom worked with IBM. She was on the board. That must be interesting. So guess who one of the first clients were to give him a nice check? IBM. All right. Apple. And everybody knows Steve Jobs, Wozniak, all those guys uh, hanging in the garage. Here we go. Steve Jobs, Steve Wozniak, Ronald Wayne in the garage in the 70s in the Bay Area of California. All right. So again, once you understand what you need to do, what's going on around the world, those are some of the biggest industries you finding anything. Social media seems to be the thing where people actually want to do something. Does that look like invinced uh, Instavid AI possibly when you're trying to do social medias, get people to react to things? You got to give credit where credit is due. A lot of these guys are into that. I saw Tencent on there with the WeChat and with a whole bunch of other things, mobile services. I know they, they have several things. So e-commerce, I mean, they do so much. It's ridiculous. So did you see the list? Meta's on there, formerly known as Facebook, right? Alphabet's on there. Google, who owns YouTube and a few other social media platforms now, um, all of them start to have a certain thing. Now we have oil on there, Aramco, but see, they're 1933. They're already in the oil industry. They're from Saudi Arabia. What more do you need to know? All right, so it is what it is. But let's get to it. Notice it's a closed list. It's not that big. All right, I got the notification, saw the trailer, and guess what? I just smashed that like button. I love it. Thank you so much for that. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like what we're talking about or smash the like button. Either way, show the support. Why? Because somebody just sent me something today and they go, man, you got 660 videos up and you don't have no views. I said, I know. <laughs> you would think it's impossible. No views. Jeez. I should show you that email. He's right. <laughs> he's right all right man you guys think this game is not rigged it's always rigged in america and around the world ladies and gentlemen there's always somebody pulling strings to do something just keep that in mind that's why you have to take a whole of your life and buy the okay buy the cojones all right <laughs> all right 
Oh man, this is fun. I have to admit, this is fun. Whenever we talk about creating wealth, how did they do it? Um, <laughs> how did they do it? Oh man. Okay, we're gonna do it a different way now. I have to put in the how did they make their money, right? Oh man. So you guys are you know though the playbook is simple. All right, so let's go here. Let's go here. Here's the next one. Most who became billionaires through work did so growing their business. Interesting. The 2023 report found with 65% achieving their wealth through organic business activity. Does this rock with what we've been saying for the last five years, ladies and gentlemen? We told you, we showed you the chart. Once you start getting into your net worth numbers, they own businesses more than anything else. It's not stocks. It's not real estate. It's nothing else but plain old fashioned business. Although another 21% reported significant wealth gains through initial public offerings. See, there you go. That's why the third thing was equities, stocks. And by the way, real estate wasn't like the top thing at all. Let's just get real. I hope I still have it on the list here. I'll, I'll bring it up. So that is very interesting. We're talking billionaires. There's only like 3,000 on the planet right now. According to that other chart, it was roughly 3,100. But um, now let's see, where else can we go? We don't want to go in the past, how they got rich back then. But generally, if you want to create wealth, the playbook is already in stone. It's not that hard. We've been talking about it for five years. You guys can do it. Here's the chart right here. Unfortunately, I can't remember where I got it from. What assets make up wealth? The blue on the right, ladies and gentlemen, businesses. That's right. It's business. Notice when you don't have that much wealth, they include a home, which is a debt vehicle in reality. Some people around the country right now is finding out just how much that debt vehicle is because they just got their insurance, their property tax bill, and they're sitting there saying, wait a minute, what do you mean thousands more per year? I don't make thousands more per year. And you've been raising up my rates over the last two or three years, and now you're making me pay more. It's unsustainable. So therefore, you should shift to the right and say business, 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 by any means necessary. So when we start talking about pre-construction, no credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry, what does that tell you? That means what we're talking about with Laverne Pinnock saying, I bought mine at 89K. The new one is worth 129K. He gets the benefit of appreciation and... He also gets the benefit of once it's delivered to him, being able to turn that into a business, meaning short term or long term rental. He has business, plus his property is achieving some appreciation as well. So, again, this is how we win, ladies and gentlemen. But again, you guys have seen this chart over the last four years. It's been crispy clear the whole time what you need to be in to get a high net worth, right? Now you know, stair-step your way to businesses, create businesses. That's why a lot of people loved Airbnb until they didn't, all right? So just keep that in mind. All right, let's keep it moving, ladies and gentlemen, because how to create wealth, that's what we're talking about. This is what the rich have done to do it. Now, we're not gonna get on the, the, the tawdry side of how they did it. But, you know, there's always some sort of shortcut because oftentimes it's relationship related on what you can do, right? So just keep that in mind. That's why when you go around the world, you should always be a very nice individual, a good human all the time, because you never know who you're meeting, how they are, who they are. So then that way, 
you get love all over the world. That's why I'm Mr. Worldwide. Just like Richard Shellington from No Path Profits is Mr. Worldwide. He goes on cruises and everything all the time. So that makes it very, very interesting. Um, DJ Robbie D, he says, where do I look to purchase these properties? DJ Robbie D, okay, here's how it works. You can't, the wave is inside Vistacana. When it's inside Vistacana, then you have to call Nestor, all right? On WhatsApp, hit up Nestor. In fact, I'll give you his phone number. I'll put it in the chat room. Um, it's plus one. That's the first thing. Let them know you're from SSN Nation. And then you need your contract. You need your contract to say a certain thing, man. We're looking for no price increases. That's what we're looking for in the contract. Now, there's only like two companies that do that. If you don't have that, then I need a cap because Panorama Garden, Panorama Lake, Panorama, every Panorama, Zeba, and a few other projects inside there raised their rates. What was it? 7% Panorama Lake, 10% for the wave raise their price. 15% uh, at Ziba, 18% at Panorama Garden. If you did not have in your contract, which thank you, Johan Confidante, for having my contract capped at 10% while my other co-buyers, whoever bought inside Panorama Garden and didn't use Johan had to pay 18%. That's a difference between $135,000 and $144,000. That's a huge difference to be giving Johan like 1% of the value of your property. 1200 bucks, 1500 bucks. He does the closing as well. That's worth it, ladies and gentlemen. It would have saved, which I backed out, but it would have saved me paying an extra $9,000. Let's get real. All right, so that was an easiest thing to do. So that's why we want our, but there it is down below, plus one, 809-918-1228. Plus one, 809-918-1228. All right. So that's what's going down. James Way, welcome to the SSN Nation Friday night live stream with that icon next to his name, which I humbly appreciate. He says, hello, all got the notifications. Finished my InstaVin investment because the rent is too damn high. James Way, congratulations to join in the party. James Way, as you know, I'm already in as well. Now he's in as well. And Oh, man, we got an update tomorrow, 12 noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern time. Hey, got to get you guys on the Zoom call. Um, I don't know if it's really open to everybody, but I think it is because there's some other updates that we need to check out. So this is getting exciting. And you did tell Oscar that you were part of the SSN Nation. I know you did. All right. That's great news, man. Happy to hear this. By the way, equity positions, that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. That's where we're at. We're in the SSN Nation, Mr. Wonderful deal called the E-Deal. All right? Mr. Wonderful's taking credit for these type of deals, but he can because he was on Shark Tank. But I've been doing these deals ever since I was in college. Let's get real. All right? This is crazy. So anyhow, you guys... You need to check out the videos for InstaVid AI, all right? We already have a company that's a big time company that's in the, the promotions business, music business, um, associating with other artists and things like that. So they're, they have a little following that could use this. And all I can tell you is what we said on when Oscar was on, they're doing the white label for it. Meaning it's gonna mirror what InstaVid AI does. So it's just going to be branded with their name and everything. So it'll make it look like it's their website. But InstaVid AI is doing it, which also means we have checks coming in. I'm just saying that's a good thing, right? That's a good thing. Right now, there's an L going on because there's development and all that. But once we get it developed and everything's out there, 
then we get money in. There'll be profit, first in, first out, and you retain equity. What better physician can you get there, ladies and gentlemen? Come on now. Let's get real. So we're going to make it happen. All right. So if anybody has any input into InstaVid AI and have any recommendations, because if you go over there and start trying to use it right now, then you can actually see what it may need and you can make suggestions. And we're listening. We're listening, ladies and gentlemen, because a lot of people from different walks of life may be thinking to use it a different way. And since you're going to think of using it a different way, you'll ask for a different function that currently is there. So that opens it up to more customers will be able to use it because it will be built for more customers. It's just instead of just a niche, because initially it was just for a niche because Oscar is generally used to people speaking on a stage for that setup, you know, like uh, for lack of a better thing, speakers network marketing companies, you know, people that have conferences and the speaker gets up there and he starts talking. And then after it's over, the conference has, let's just say 500 people. And then there's a line of 20, 30, 40 people trying to talk to him afterwards. When imagine if they would have sent in a question or asked a question to interact and they interact and there's a fee. Well, now I don't even have to go to that seminar, webinar, whatever. But all I'm saying is, there's a way to make profit as the individual, being the speaker themselves, influencer, whoever. And there's a way for the people who want to do it to make revenue off of it as well, to share it. You're not the speaker, you're a follower. And you say, hey, man, I want to find out about this. And he actually answers you and then you promote that. And then you can make your money as well. That is a sweet deal. Because I think of things in the monetary environment all the time. You have to, right? So hopefully that helps out. But anyhow, go over there. Thank you for the helpful info. Go see Nestor. Let him know you're from SSN Nation. Tell him Eric sent you over and get in touch with him and say, hey, I need to know about the wave. All right? That's what we're doing right now, making it happen. And if you want to pay 129, you can get the wave. Hopefully that helps you out. And also, just keep in mind, inside Vistacana, there's other properties. Now, we do have a few people. Not only does uh, Mr. and Mrs. Cool own at the Wave, we have two or th well, actually we have three people that own at the Wave, just so you guys know. All right. There's a. Uh, there's like these little townhouse things or something. I, I don't really remember. The Wave and another property used to get me confused because they looked the same. I mean, it's ridiculous, but nonetheless. All right. So happy DJ Robbie D trying to make something happen in Puna Cana. No credit check, no qualifying, no barriers to entry. I love that for you, man. And it's still not too late. It's still not too late. All right. So uh, we still waiting on a contract. Hold on a second. I don't have E. White in the house tonight. Did he get that contract from Harold or not? We were talking about that on, on Wednesday. Here it is two days later now. Hold on a second. Let me go check something, ladies and gentlemen. We got to find out about this right now. Let me go see. Let me see if I can. I, I got to find out because I'm anxiously waiting for this. This could be a new paradigm shift uh man man oh man yeah there could be a new contract coming out um that will make a paradigm shift not my contract but it's something that it's ssn nation approved and if it gets approved that could change things dramatically so we'll see like i said and and let's just keep be clear. It doesn't do no price increase. So that that's, you know, they do a cap or something. Fine. It's the backside that matters. A lot of people know all. In fact, everybody's project is delayed. Right. Everybody's. So what happens? Can you combat the everybody delayed part? If you can combat that part then now you feel even a little more comfortable. 
right? With penalties. You like that. I, I don't know if they're going to agree to this, but I want to see it. I'm hoping they will. All right. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to be on here too long tonight because I'm working on a huge project, as I've been telling you for the last two to three weeks. I have not got it done because I got stumped. Yes, even I get stumped every now and then. Because when it comes to creativity, I am the worst. You know, when we had art class and they're sitting there going, uh, hey, you know, you got to draw some abstract, draw something, whatever, whatever. That's what it sounds like to me, right? Charlie Brown, wah, 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 wah. I'm like, okay, I was already in the zone from the time I was five. They show up, draw something. I'm like, why? Why am I going to, this is a waste of time. And I said, plus the fact I have no skill set. I don't see anything when I draw. I can't, this imagination for drawing, I'm, that's not my thing. And they'd be like, well, draw. And I'm like, what am I going to use this for? Nothing. Seriously, I'm not going to be an artist, clearly. So when I have to draw some things, I just, my mind just, I just can't think like that. So it takes me a little while. So when somebody gives me a blank canvas and I say, well, I got to make a de uh, development, condos, villas, pools, all this. I say, I can do it because I know what's needed. But then when we start talking about what do you want it to look like? I can't tell you where to put the flowers and bushes and trees, but I will tell you how to build a badass condominiums and mansions. <laughs> I can't do that. All right. But I can't do the rest. So we will see what's happening. We will find out. Paul Castillo, Eric, what's the status on Laramar, Cruz on land, are they still just moving dirt? Yeah, Paul Castillo, don't expect anything other than moving dirt right now. Here's the here's the, here's the problem, and and here's what I the reason why I look at this. You have a jungle. They're out there in the jungle, basically farmland, trees, palm trees, and regular trees, and brushes, and dirt, and. And they're on an elevated plateau, which means it's going to be rocks, probably volcanic rock, you know, molten lava rock that pushed up. So that's the only way you can generally get mountains on 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 islands. So you better be bringing some digging equipment because a bulldozer isn't going to cut it. And you better be bringing something that can pull up trees. I mean, I mean, seriously. So, uh, yeah, I think they're going to be moving dirt for a minute. That's the, I, I really do. I, I just can't see these guys laying down their foundation and believing that's going to be solid enough, whether it's a sit and cruise on land, six stories or seven stories. I think it's now moved up to seven stories, maybe even eight. I don't know. But all I know is all that weight that you're going to have to have. You just can't place these things anywhere on a plateau. I mean, it's pretty serious. It's rocks, gravel, well, not gravel, it's rocks. And you don't know what's underneath when you start moving an acre away and another acre. And I just don't see how it's happening. And that same thing as, as, as Laramar, there's, there's no way they're gonna, I mean, they're not digging any platforms. They're not, we're talking about seven, 16 story buildings. So once again, I don't see how, yeah, they're going to be moving dirt too, but they got to clear the land to begin with. We're talking about massive amount of acres. I don't know if people realize when you start saying something like five acres, the number five isn't that big, but five acres, when you say I'm going to build something on five acres that has, has trees and is on volcanic rocks, and whatever else is on there, who knows what the land's really like? It ain't easy. So just to give people an idea, in fact, let me do this, five acres, um, square feet. I'm gonna put square feet. So I keep using different numbers, but let's see, five acres, 217,800 square feet, all right? That gives you guys, hopefully you get an idea. So 
let's put it this way. A city lot generally is 50 feet wide by 100 feet long. That is 5,000 square feet. Now, 217,800 is five acres. So you can start doing the math. It's 40 of those city lots of 550 feet by 100. So that gives you an idea, just to even get close to 200,000. All right? So you got to go down 40 homes and then go back 100 feet. And that gives you the area that they got to clear. So that's not any joke. And even that area that they're about to clear, that doesn't even make at cruise on land. Remember, they have like this U shape. So it's more than five acres is what I'm going to get. That's what I'm about to say. They have to clear more than five acres. They got to probably clear like 10 to 15 acres. And, and Laramar has to do the same thing. They got pools that's supposed to be on a ridge. They got a pool that's and four towers that's supposed to be set up. And these things aren't like little, little things. They're, they're, you know, they're like 50 feet. The towers are 50 feet to hundred feet apart. So you got to build four of those. And then the towers, I, I don't know the measurements uh, on the towers, you know, the, the, four sides i don't know the measurements but you have to they have to be 100 feet right some they have to be 100 feet in each direction minimum so i'm just saying it's it's i don't know so when they start clearing where they can actually put a foundation down to stabilize whatever they're going to be putting these these things on then you'll know something but I do know this. I'm not, a, again, I'm not saying th th there's no way. None, neither one's delivering December 2025. I mean, or December 2025. I mean, I, I don't see how they're even suggesting one year and seven months that all of a sudden they're going to wake up and soon to be in about 14 days, it's going to be one year and six months. So they don't even have the foundation down. So I don't know how anybody in their right mind is going to sit around here acting like they're going to be finished in, in two years. That's just crazy. But two of the potentially best projects out there. And, and I have this feeling that I think they're going to be the last because there's, there's just no way somebody's going to be able to afford, like in the case of Laramar, 645 acres. 47 acres, 650 acres. Cruise on land, I don't know their footprint, but Vistacana bought their property in the early 2000s. Nobody's going to be able to get these swaths of land like this at a reasonable price. Them days are over. So in order for somebody to come out with anything that remotely looks like these, they're going to have to spend hundreds of millions of dollars. I mean, it's, it's going to be out of, it's, it's, preventive it's not going to happen all right are there any events or parties scheduled this year that i can come out and play for maybe then i can come see some of the properties while i'm there dj robbie d i'm having the ssn lifestyle music festival this is a little different i have uh well because i'm, I'm familiar with on the island unfortunately i was going to have you come but i can't because i already have some guys on the island that's gonna be doing the DJ and all that. Some other musicians on the island already lined. They're they're already want to be in, so I'm gonna have them on. Don't have to import or do anything. So maybe another one, but not the first, not this one. It have to be a different one. It'll have to probably be more like the SSN lifestyle, regular real estate type one, but not this music festival. We have uh, artists that have gotten awards and stuff like that as well. We got DJs. We have some other artists from the, the island that's going to play. So unfortunately, DJ Robbie D, that I can't put you in on the schedule on this one. All right. And it might get pricey for me as well. It's going to get pricey. There's no way around it. It's going to be pricey because uh, I already know some of the numbers. I got seven. Let's just say seven, eight, 
seven, 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 nine, 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 nine already. Airfare, hotel, and everything like that. That gets pricey. So, unfortunately, yes, we're having something, but I can't get you in this time. It'll have to be for probably a fall event because I might have two events this year. It all depends. We will see how it goes. But unfortunately, not the first one, not May 9th through the 16th. Can't do it. Sorry about that, man. So maybe the next one. But just remember one thing, buy and fly is also a thing. Keep that in mind. Talk with Nestor about buy and fly. So here's the thing. Now, me and Laramar, they're mad at me because I'm not I'm not on the company line about we're going to deliver September 2025. We're going to deliver December 20. I'm not with that company BS. I'm not I'm not part of the company. But um, Vista Cana, you go talk to Nestor. If you want to go to Laramar, then you go talk to Gwen. All right. Laramar has buy and fly. So they'll reimburse you if you decide to buy. So I'm just saying. So that, that's an option. And there might be other places, too. You can ask uh, Nestor about buy and fly as well. But here is Glenn's number. If you go to Laramar, let them know you're from SSN Nation and you want that buy and fly deal. So then this way, if you do decide to buy, you get reimbursed. I mean, simple as that, right? That's part of your down payment. So either way, it works. It works. He says, when is the festival? May 9th through the 12th is the music portion. May 13th through the 15th is the real estate portion. So the whole thing is May 9th through the 15th is when we will be doing something. Ideally, you want to come the 8th, leave on the 16th. So you have choices. If it's just music, three nights, May 9th through the 12th. If it's just real estate and investing, then you come May 13th to the 15th. There'll be tickets separated for those. And then if you want to do the whole thing, because it's going to be very interesting, it's going to be May 8th. So you come a day before and you leave on the 16th because nothing's happening on the 8th or the 16th. Simplest way I can explain it. And I will give another preview because depending on what happens, this is going to be fun because if things go down like it's supposed to, we will be playing at venues that you would actually be able to, well, get a place there. And part of what, that, what SSN Lifestyle owns. That's why this is going to be special. Now, after I had my little glitch for the last three days about what I'm going to do with this swath of land that is limited and I'm trying to figure out how to get people down there and all that. And it's in a place that let's just say right now it's a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars per night to stay there in that area. And if I can get that land, I need a great program for that. That's what took me three days to figure out because of the dimensions. And I finally got it. I'll just put it this way, give you guys a preview. Mansions by the sea. Notice the keyword by the sea. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Now, what's a mansion? I don't know. You guys have to tell me. Um, some people think a 3,000 square foot house is good. Some people think a 3,500 is good. Some people think 4,000 is good. Some people think, hey, 5,000. Some people think six or 7,000. I don't really know what a mansion is, but I think if you're going to go do villas, then I have to consider anything over 3,000 is pretty decent, especially when it's made of cement, right? It's pretty decent. Anything that can sleep like four bedrooms, four and a half or five and a half baths, I think is pretty cool. Um, so that's what we're dealing with, right? So we're going to see how it all works out. Hopefully I get my answer. I still, it took me three days because I'm not that good when I start thinking of art. 
So I have to get a, a guy that's an architect and I'm going to get them in, but I wanted to let them know exactly what I'm trying to do. So then this way, I need the, the guys that have the money. They'll know exactly what we're doing. So they understand they got to get repaid, right? So they have to understand what this is all worth. So I have to give them an idea of the renderings and let them know what's happening. So then this way they go, oh, I see the vision. I agree. Here's a few mil, all right? So it takes a little time. And I thought I wasn't planning on this because this property wasn't available to me. And then there's a second one that came up too. Not available to me at the time. Now it's available. So I got to do something with that too. So again, it's another Monday and I'm hoping to submit everything tomorrow. That's why I can't be on here all night long, unfortunately, but hopefully I'm giving you enough so you can uh, deal with it now. All right. So let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets are not on sale yet. Again, my fault. But save the dates. All right. I'm telling you right now, if you want to have, come into the music festival, that's fine. If you want to come for the real estate portion, that's fine. Come for the whole thing is even better. A week with the SSN Nation fam. That would be awesome. OK, ladies and gentlemen, you know what this means. Time for a little break. Let me see. I'm going to put up a little video. I have to go get something to drink that I don't have and I don't want to put that video in. I'll have a copyright strike. So um, that one's only one minute. I need something that's about two minutes. So let's see if we have anything up here. We know we do, but I'm not going to play. What's this one here? Okay. Well, we'll do it this way. All right. So I'll do it this way because a lot of people need help with their credit, especially since the Federal Reserve is not going to reduce that interest rate. So that means if you have credit cards, they're taxing you more than what you think. You might be thinking you're doing 8% or 10%, but it's more like 20 or 30 because most people are paying their minimum amounts. So you need to clear your credit. So what I'll do is I'll play this smart credit. It's at least two minutes. So check this out. Smart Credit is a fast, simple solution to a better credit score, more online privacy, and greater control of your money. Did you know the average person can add 97 points to their credit score but aren't aware of it? They don't even know how to get these points. Our average member adds 61 points in just 20 days using Smart Credit. That could save you $10,000 in interest on a car loan and over $100,000 in the life of the average mortgage loan. And Smart Credit is the only credit management system that gives you a spending and payment plan to help you add more points to your credit score. And if you already have a good credit score, this feature shows you how spending could affect your score and how to prevent losing these hard-earned points. Plus, we don't just show your credit score and provide alerts, we're the only ones to give you a personalized plan with action buttons to add points. Our patented action buttons allow you to communicate directly with your creditors and even your financial institutions to dispute errors, ID fraud, and more. No more mailing letters and no more long hold times. We also help protect you and your loved ones. Our $1 million whole family fraud and scam insurance covers your entire family in your household at a much lower cost than the competition. And by the way, have you Googled your name lately? You may be shocked by how many websites expose and sell your private information. Use Privacy Master to easily request the removal of your information to stop these sites from selling it permanently, all with the push of a button. Another way we beat the competition, our Money Manager feature finds your bank accounts so you can link them without searching. We also have instant statements and action buttons to ask questions, fix problems, and reverse unrecognized credit card charges directly with your financial institutions. Smart Credit. It only takes one minute to enroll. Get started today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you go. Smart credit, I put it in the chat room. I don't 
have it, which I'm going to change it right now. I am going to put it down below. Hopefully that helps you out. We do have videos on smart credit, by the way. So you can check it out as well. We even had a representative on last year. She was supposed to come on again this year, but she has not had the time thus far. So we will see what's happening. They've updated things a little bit, but you get the gist of the situation. This can help you out greatly. And it's only for a little bit per month. The cost of two combo meals <laughs> monthly is what it costs. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Combo meals, 10, 11, 12 bucks now. So two of those, and it's uh, less than two of those actually monthly to have your credit uh, under guard with identity fraud. Then it has enough uh, information so you can check all three credit bureaus. Then you have where you have your hiring index score, your FICO auto score. You have everything at your disposal to help you out, including if you pay by a certain date, it tells you when to pay to optimize increasing your credit score. That's very valuable in itself. Way to send out information or questions to a creditor. Also very, very good. You don't have to form your own letters and things like that, which contacting your creditor about what you owe. Generally, they're just going to send you back. Yeah, you owe it kind of thing. But nonetheless, you can always, hey, it's always helpful if there's letters that is already uh, populated for you and you can use. So once again, those are the good things that you need. Now, once again, we're going to wrap this up a little bit early. If there's anything that you guys want to talk about tonight, please let me know because how to create wealth, it's not rocket science, but you do need some money. You do need disposable income of some sort that you can put away to invest in something. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, like 65% of the population, it makes it very, very hard to get wealthy like the rich have done. Because again, unless you can walk away or walk around and somebody says, hey, I'll give you 200,000, I'll give you 100,000, I'll give you 250,000. You know, that's about the only way it's gonna happen, but generally most people aren't uh, in that realm. So it makes it very hard, all right? So if you have anything else you wanna talk about, please do so now, because the wealth train, it never leaves. You just have to get started. That's all it takes. And there is no straight line to success regarding that, but you have to try, right? And you can't stop. You have to keep going. Just like I put in the number $300,000 in 1991, which is 30 years ago, 33 years ago now, right? Jeez. Um, is now you need to make $687,000. That's the equivalent. So if you think 30 years from now, $687,000 is gonna be good enough, you're gonna be sadly mistaken because if we go by that track record, you're gonna to need to make 30 years from now, 1.3 million to start a business of an Amazon type company. That is crazy. That is crazy. That should also tell you that if you have a $687,000 house and you have a mortgage, your house is going to be worth like 1.2 million, I guess. Jesus. And it should be because as you guys know, I'm a pet peeve about doing the mathematics. You've paid that much. You paid double. If you bought a house for 687, it's you paid 1.3. So it better be worth 1.4 or more for you to get your money back, right? So all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is it's a break even proposition. So it'd be much, much better if you have the businesses, much better if you have the passive income, that's how you create wealth because you need the disposable income. There's no way around it. You can't live paycheck to paycheck. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna wrap this up, please on the way out. Hopefully you have a safe weekend. You guys know I love you very much. I appreciate your support as well. But please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here.
And that's why we have to keep talking about how you get wealthy because they don't teach you this stuff in school. Imagine if you were able to start at five years old and they showed you how to do your taxes, how to do your taxes when you have a business, how to file forms with the state or county or federal IRS tax forms. Imagine learning that for 10 years, along with the reading, writing, and arithmetic, right? Imagine if they figured out and showed you this is what you need to get a loan and went over credit scores, went over stock investing for the damn near five to 12, what is that, 12 years of education? So then when you got out, you would already be like, oh, let's go. I know how to do everything, how to start a corporation, how to have an LLC, how to have uh, taxes, how to have a trust. You would know all that stuff in 12 years, right? But no, we got to have reading, writing, geometry, biology, calculus, whatever the frick. Uh, crazy. P.E. <laughs> I mean, come on. Seriously now. All right. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen. Sleepwalking is not a thing in today's environment, no matter where you live in the world. And with all that said, be safe out there. Make sure you stay out of trouble because, you know, it's costly. People are acting crazy. They're depressed. They're under duress. So keep all of that in mind when you're interacting with people because they're acting kind of crazy. Just step back and be like, OK, I got to go. <laughs> all right. Keep that in mind this weekend because things are getting a little more hectic out here. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.